Hey traders, welcome back to Tiffany Trades Options. My name is Tiffany and I love to trade stock options. Today is Friday, September 18th. It's about 11 o'clock in the morning and I just wanted to check in with you all and see how you're doing. How did you fare through the recent uh, market drop uh, a couple weeks ago and then leading into probably earlier this week? I'm sort of losing track of time a little bit. Um, how, how are you doing? How's your trading going? I wanna hear from you, um, drop it in the comments below. I also wanted to check in on the Bank of America naked put that I put on um, at the end of August and in my last video and, and uh, let you guys know how that's doing. We have 28 days left until expiration in this position. And, and if you recall, uh, this is uh, a demonstration of the wheel strategy. I opened a position in Bank of America at the 25 strike. At the time when it was trading, it was trading about 24.97. So I decided to take a chance and open at the 25 strike. And now Bank of America has been trading above the 25 strike for the last few weeks. And I'm hopeful that it will continue to do that. We'll see though, uh, uh, earnings are coming up um, in about middle of October. So it could go either way. But as I said previously, if Bank of America uh, drops below 25 by the time expiration hits and I get assigned the stock, I'll be totally fine with that. And then I will turn around and I'll show you how to sell a covered call. Um, so that is that for this particular position. And for today's video, I actually wanted to talk to you about um, a trade alert service that I have been testing out and using over the last few weeks. And I will put it out there up front that I was given complimentary access for this service to actually use it myself, try it in my personal account, see if it's worth it uh, before uh, talking about it to you guys and recommending it to you. And so just wanted to let you know that. And then also um, relatedly, I also have an affiliate link in the descriptions below in this video and in all of my other videos, which means that if you decide that you want to try out this service and use it for yourself, I will get a percentage of a commission, but that doesn't mean that you are going to be charged more for the service than you would if you did not use my link. Using the link really helps support me in this channel. It's totally up to you, but I just wanted to put those two things out there for you in advance. And so the service that I have been checking out in the last few weeks is called Tiblio. So Tiblio is a service that offers uh, trade ideas and alerts, and it scans the market and provides customers or users with high probability trade ideas. You think about 70% 70, 70 of probability of profit or better. And so um, if you are a conservative trader and you want to ensure the greatest probability of success, but also probably be fine with taking slightly less credit than you would if you had opened maybe a a little bit more aggressive or uh, moderately aggressive trade, then this is a service that you might be interested in checking out. Um, this is the landing page of Tiblio and, and it is $24.95 a month. And you can, and in my experience, I made up this amount within the first trade that I put on. And so I think this is a pretty reasonable fee for a trade alert service. I'm not gonna name any names, but some of the other services and discords out there that I've seen have been pretty expensive and including even upwards of a hundred or more dollars per month and i'm not sure if i personally spend that much money but if that's something that you want to do and spend your money on please by all means go ahead and, and do that i i you know that's just not my style but in any event i don't think 25 dollars is, is prohibitively expensive and so um just wanted to put that out there that it, it is a paid service it is a monthly service but it is a cancel any time um if you are not satisfied within your thir first 30 days you have a money back guarantee um so just you know, be mindful of that. So this is the landing page and this, this sort of gives you an idea of what Tiblio is about. And if you sign up, then you'll get a book, sell options like an engineer. I do not have this book, but it is, and, and I think that is in large part just because I had the complimentary access and that's totally fine, but this is just one perk that will um, be included in your membership if you do sign up. So you are welcome to come to the landing page and, and take a look at this on your own. The website is tiblio.com. Um, take a look, learn more about the founders, Leon Smith and Kevin Hamilton. And this is a sample of what the Tiblio platform looks like. And I will jump into my account and show you what you could experience. So this is what the Tiblio uh, trade board looks like and basically the idea is that 
you are given trade ideas over here in this section. There's 20 of them listed and you get an equal number of calls and puts. And one awesome thing about Tibilio is it refreshes. So if you are not interested in trading in Home Depot or the queues and you want to look for other trade ideas, you can just simply refresh and it will show you more, um, more options. And this is scanning the market regularly, um, you know, taking into account market activity and, and stock and stock movement. And so, um, plenty of ideas all the time. The one thing that I like a lot about this service is it kind of takes a lot of the time spent trying to find a good trade out of the picture. So, you know, me personally, sometimes I'll spend probably a little bit more time than I would care to, to research and find a trade and see if it's a good setup. And then sometimes internally debate with myself, oh, do I want to do this? Do I not want to do this? Um, so this service is good if you are looking for just sort of trade ideas and you don't want to put a lot of um, uh, research time into it. And, and I will say that that you know you should check the trade yourself and see if it is something that you're comfortable with doing. But it is it is a helpful service for trade ideas and alerts. Tiblio uh, includes every stock in the S&P 500. There are also many from the Dow, and there they also include other up and coming stocks that have good credit. Uh, they told me um, individually that they are trying to avoid hype stocks or any stocks that are illiquid. So um, they want to ensure that users who put on trades using these trade recommendations will be able to get filled pretty regularly or pretty easily. And I think that's a great idea. I, I generally try to avoid illiquid options just because you um, have the potential to leave some money on the table trying to get in and out. Their system looks at the Greeks and time horizon and provides the best recommendations at that particular point in time. Um, they they take the view that volatility is baked in, into the price of the stock. And so um, volatility is not an individual metric um, factored in the way it would be on, for example, uh, Tasty Trade right here. And so um, they look at the Greeks, and I, I, I do know that Vega and volatility are related, but just generally speaking, I just wanted to put that out there for you. Okay, so this right here is my trade board, and, and these are positions that I had put on in my personal um, E-Trade account. The very first position that I did was Netflix, um, and I collected $68 of profit. Um, I will let you know that I have made some um, edits to my personal trade board, and and. If you sign up for Tiblio and you use it for yourself, this will present as green with a negative amount, but I am OCD. And so I changed it, changed the details so that I will see the actual proceeds in, in a positive dollar value. Um, and the color for some reason turns red and, and that doesn't bother me at all. I, and I'm, I'm sort of indifferent to the colors, the color aspects and more prone to looking at a positive or negative. Um, so that's just one side note. It's really um, not a big deal. But so this is this is the trade board. And, and what happens when you open up a Tiblio trade or a Tiblio recommended trade is um, it's you can log it here if you want to. You don't have to. This is this is totally optional. Um, it is not automatic, though, meaning that you have to manually enter in the information yourself. And so if you are not interested in doing that, then I totally understand. But this kind of helps put into one place the trades that you have on that were recommended by Tiblio and where they are in terms of the current um, status. So I have opened up one to five trades and I've closed three of them and I have two that are currently open right now. And um, this one is actually in the money right now and I'm, I'm happy to wait it out. I still have a few weeks for that to work itself out. But in terms of this video, I wanted to look at one of these trades and open it up in the Tiffany Trades Options account. And then we can check back in a few weeks and see how it did. And you can decide if this is a service that you think would work well for yourself. And um, and then you can kind of just, just go from there. Before I do that, though, one other thing that I forgot to mention is that in addition to a constantly refreshing list of strategies right here, Tibilio does send out a daily list of stock strategies around 1045 Eastern Standard Time. These are some of the initial trade ideas um, that you will get in your email inbox every day. They also send out notifications when it's time for you to close your stock. I have a couple of examples um, of what the notifications look like, but I didn't close them because I think the market was doing some weird activity and 
the stock didn't the options didn't necessarily reflect a 208 percent profit um, but the alert service does work and i think that there is a little bit of unusual activity around some of the positions that i had open and so i'm not saying that you shouldn't look at this alert service i think it's actually really helpful um, but for the particular positions that i had put on i think it was just they were just doing some weird stuff um, i generally also tend to op set up my limit orders to close at 50% anyway. So it is sort of an automatic um, routine for me, meaning that I don't necessarily need the alert email for my position to close because I've already kind of calculated it myself. But if you are one of those people who, do, who does not set lemon orders right away and you want to be reminded, then this is another thing too um, that is helpful for Tiblio. So quickly, this is the trade setup or the trade ideas board and you are provided the information by symbol, the type of trade, the suggested expiration, and of course these are just suggestions if you want to set up a totally different trade but using the same strikes you might consider pushing it out one week or pulling it in one week it's totally up to you. Understanding that these probabilities of profit and estimated credits are going to be slightly different. Um, it will offer a variety of trade setups. So, for example, this is a um, this is a ten dollar wide trade, and so you have a greater potential max loss, but you have um, greater credit collected. You also have the option for a two dollar and fifty wide cent trade, le less potential for max loss, but also less credit collected. And so, just keep that in mind as you're evaluating some of these trades. Okay, so I spent a few minutes looking through the Tiblio recommendations and trying to find an ideal setup that would be suitable for the Tiffany Trades Options account. Um, as you recall, this is a small account. I currently need to have $2,500 in cash reserves in case Bank of America is assigned to me. Earlier today, I deposited the monthly $250 deposit. It's reflected here in the buying power, but it has not been reflected in the cash balance yet, which will... Um, probably clear on Monday or Tuesday of next week. But with that said, um, Apple has sort of taken a little bit of a dive recently along with the rest of tech. I like Apple. I am generally very bullish on the idea of Apple. And so I'm going to open up this Tiblio recommendation of a $2.50 wide put credit spread for October 16th keeping in mind that that is 28 days away, which is a little bit outside of my normal trade setup of opening credit spreads 30 to 60 days away, but I'm willing to make exceptions for purposes of demonstration. This has a 76% probability of profit. Um, the aim is to collect about 31 cents in uh, credit if possible, keeping in mind fees that your brokerage may um, charge you. Um, I use Tastyworks and they charge $1 to open plus reg fees and then zero to close plus reg fees. And so it'll be about $2.29 to um, open this trade, which is totally fine. And then um, the potential max loss would be about $94. Um, so we are going to pop into Tastyworks and see what this looks like. So I already have it set up for October 16th, which as I said is 28 days away. The short leg would be the 100 strike and the long leg would be 98.75. Uh, right now, the credit collected is actually more than what is showing up on Tiblio, which is great. Um, that, you know, obviously the more credit you can collect, the better. Uh, but also the probability of profit is just slightly lower and, I, and I'm comfortable with the idea of 69% or 70%, um, but that is not a problem for me. And the credit collected is just under the one third um, of the widths of the strikes. And if you were going to try to collect one third of the widths of a 125 wide uh, credit spread that you'd, you'd aim for about 41 or 42 cents credit, this is just slightly under that. And that, in my mind, makes this a good trade setup as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit send and see what happens. Um, the buying power will be reduced by 92.29. The max potential loss will be $90 and the max potential profit will be $35, assuming that we held until expiration, which we're, I'm not likely to do. But, um, you know, that is what happens if you hold to expiration. And, and uh, if you haven't checked out Project Option or, or in the monies videos on 
on some of the risks of holding options till expirations, I highly suggest you do so. I'm going to link those in the video description below. All right, so we're going to go see what happens. The bids and the asks are pretty tight. I've locked in at 35 cents. Um, it seems to be hovering around that just a little bit. So we'll just check it out and see what happens. Okay, well, that got filled pretty quickly. And so um, what that means is I have collected 35 cents in credit less to 29 um, in opening fees. And on the Tiblio trade board, I'm going to open. Here we go. Where to go? Open a vertical. And so this is what I meant when it's um, when you have to enter this information in here. Some of it's pre-populated, but if you decided that you were going to open for a different expiration, you would just want to make sure that you change the date here. I opened one. I collected 0.35. Commission is 229. So I'm going to record this vertical. And this is what I meant earlier when um, the default is showing a, a negative value and then a green um, background. I'm going to change this later, <clears throat> just like I said, just because I like the idea of keeping track of it in positive values. Um, Tiblio also sends you emails when you open the vertical confirmation just to let it know it's been recorded. And then they'll send, they'll just remind you that they'll send you a message uh, when it hits 50%. I'll record this in Tiffany Trades Options Journal as normal, and this will also be linked in the description below. If you want to keep up with it, please feel free. So that is it. That is the, the re review of Tiblio. Please let me know if you have any specific questions about this service that I didn't address on this video. Um, I'm happy to answer them. You can feel, feel free to email me at tiffanytradesoptions at gmail or drop them in the comments below. Um, Either of those uh, scenarios work for me, and I hope that you guys are doing well in your trading. I love hearing from you. There's been a lot more of you subscribing to my channel, which I think is really, really, really awesome. There's been a lot more activity in the comments, which I think is awesome. So I'm really happy to see that this community is growing. As I've said before in previous videos, it's my goal to be a resource, a free resource and um, helpful for you. And so please, um, you know, uh, keep, keep in touch. Let me know what's happening. Uh, um, all right. That's it for me. Talk to you guys later. Bye.